Hi there, my name is Adam Corcoran. I'm a technical sales engineer with Esri Ireland. And today I wanna to show you five tips on how you can improve the look and feel of your dashboards. I have a tourism statistics dashboard here for Northern Ireland. And tip number one, I would always suggest including a side panel where possible uh, in your dashboards. This provides you know your end user with context uh, and also you know a guide on how to use your dashboard it can contain selectors company logos all sorts so to add a side panel I just go up to my plus button here click side panel and I'm gonna configure mine here so if I click on title you can see I have you know of course my title I have a description on how to use the dashboard where my data is coming from and I'll include a selector which I'll get to in a second in my description then I just have the Esri logo worth noting as well that side panels can slide over in which case if I go here click this it'll slide over so you know you have a lot more screen real estate but I suppose I you know I like it when it's fixed in place so I'll just uncheck that box but that's entirely up to you tip number two then is to include a selector within your dashboard it just makes it a lot more interactive now selectors can be added to the header panel you know we have category selectors number selectors date selectors whatever it is that your data is trying to show you can do selections of it so if i configure mine here you can see that my categories are being pulled from features i have my field name in here uh, and I can sort A to Z, which is good because I don't want Belfast above Ards and North Down, for example. And then finally, I can configure actions based off of where, this is real, really where the power comes in in selectors, that I can set up filters, I can set it to zoom my map, flash my map, uh, and also if I add action here, I can pan it as well. So I have it set up to filter basically everything in my dashboard and then I have a few actions based on the map. What that looks like then is when I select Antrim here, you can see it filters my dashboard. Three then would be to you know enhance your indicators so if you know your data set is information rich and it charts change over time uh, or you want to compare two values or two fields in your attribute table you can do that via conditional formatting in the indicators so from here you can see I have total expenditure 2018 uh, and then I have conditional formatting to say to compare it against the previous year. So that's my feature, and then I selected my field here. If we pop into the indicator tab here, you can see conditional formatting. I can turn it on or off. So from here, I can style for a value at or above the reference, and the reference is the previous year. And then I have tons of options. So you see in this bottom text, I can put in fields and it, you know, XGIS dashboards will actually help me come up with a few, you know, predefined calculations here. So we can take percentage change is what I'm doing, but just, you know, a few more options in there for you. So I can style this. So if it's below uh, the reference value, I can style it as orange. I can change the indicators as well, or create my own custom icon. And I just realized that that icon is pointing up. I want it to point down. When I'm done, that's what it looks like. So when I change my selector then, you can see that it's pulled in. So it's below the value.
So tip number four is when you have series cards within your dashboards. Okay, so by default, you can see here I have a graph showing, um, you know, place of origin for tourists in Northern Ireland. But you can see by default then uh, the bottom axis is kind of straightforward and it's kind of hard to tell, you know, what's 2011, what's 2014 etc. For series graphs I would always recommend you either stagger or rotate uh, these type of charts solely because you know it's very confusing for your end user if it's all in a straight line. How I do that is I navigate the category axis, click on staggered, click on rotated. Whichever one you want uh, it really is just about making it as clear as possible for your end user uh, to actually understand what's going on in your dashboard. And then tip number five is by default ArcGIS dashboards is always a white background. Uh, I use a you know an, an open source tool available on Google Chrome, and uh, you know it's just an eye drop tool, which I can hover over it. It'll give me the color of anything. Uh, so really useful if you do want like your dashboards to tie in well with your you know company colors or your organization colors. Uh, I think dashboards always look better with the dark team as opposed to light that's personal preference though uh, but in here I can change the text color I can change the dashboard background color I can change the element outline color as well so I can change this to orange you know and it kind of gives me a nice delineation uh, between my cards and my dashboard background bonus tip then ArcGIS dashboards beta is now available this includes tons of new functionality uh, and I'd highly recommend that you check it out. Uh, here's the help page which I'll link below in the video. But to get started on it you just go into your home page, click the waffle up the top right uh, and there's dashboards beta. So that's it, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you want, do want to reach out let me know. Uh, and that is it, thank you all for watching.